Hello, my pretties. How are we all doing? I hope everyone's doing well. I am currently a little stuffy, so I apologize if you can hear that in my voice. It's pretty annoying. I don't know why I keep getting these, like, sinus head colds and they're not fun, which means I have a really bad headache. So I'm going to try to do this pretty quickly. My podcasts are never like that fast. So let me get comfy. I am in my sweatpants and they are like super neon pink. They're really cute. I um, I got them from Victoria's Secret. They were on sale and they're so comfy. I wish I could like live in these all the time. Welcome to episode 12. I recorded my last episode what, maybe three weeks ago now? So I'm trying to stay consistent. I did say I was going to try every two weeks. Obviously, that's not working out. And to give you all like a little life update, really, I did start my first semester, my first full semester back to college. So I am currently in the spring semester. And yeah, it's not easy. College is not easy. And I understand why I didn't finish the first time around. So yeah, I've been really busy with that. Um, I did have a week off of work and my boyfriend and I took a small trip. Uh, But since then, I have been doing schoolwork. So let's hop right into the podcast segment. So I don't have any finished objects. Like I said, I haven't really been able to knit as much, but I do have plenty of whips to show you. Because although I told myself I wasn't going to cast on more projects, I did. I will start with the first thing that I showed you last time, and this is the classic. It's called the classic. It's on Ravelry, and it is a free pattern. I am knitting this in the size one, which is for a 43-inch bust. So I did put a stitch marker in the last time I spoke to you all. So this is the stitch marker here. Um, And this is the progress that I've done. So I've done both of the arms um, because I'm always so afraid that I'm going to run out of yarn. So I did knit the arms. They look really short right now, but that's because obviously they're not blocked. And I learned my lesson the last time I made a sweater. I made the sleeves like fit me exactly how I wanted. Like I I knitted them to exactly where I wanted them to be. And then when I blocked them, they stretched. So I kept that in mind with this one. So I did knit them pretty short and I'm hoping that when I block them, they will grow. Um, And now what I'm doing is I'm working on the body again and I just split uh, the front and the back. So I'm going, I mean, I think this pattern does call for a split but I'm going to make the back much longer than the front. So that's currently what I'm doing and I'm doing well on yarn. I think I might have actually bought too much yarn, which I don't like because I want to make sure that I use it all. Uh, but right now I have two, um, two cakes that I'm working and then I have an extra ball. So That means I think the extra ball is going to be like an extra and I don't want that. (laughs) So I might have to figure out what to do with that. I don't know. We'll see how the body goes because right now the body is still pretty short and I do want the back of the, I, I want the back of this sweater to cover like my butt and then I want the front to be like a little higher. So yeah, that's currently what I'm doing. So I will move my stitch markers. So I did originally um, bring this on the trip. So we didn't we didn't go away for that long. So I really don't know why I brought so much knitting. But I guess, you know, you could never be too prepared. But um, I did bring this and I ended up forgetting my smaller knitting needles because obviously the ribbing calls for a smaller calls for a smaller size of needles, excuse me, uh, and I did not bring them. So I did not work on this at all when we went away. And I'm kind of kicking myself because I should have, because I think by then I could have done at least some of the body. 
Um, but like I said, I wanted to make sure I had enough um, yarn for the arms because that always gives me really bad anxiety that I'm not going to have enough yarn for the arms. So I've learned that's my way to go. Knit the arms first and that's it. Like I said, this is a free pattern on Ravelry. I'll have everything linked down below. I absolutely love it. It's such a good pattern. I definitely see myself knitting another sweater in this pattern. I am using the color Velvet by Surella Yarn. This was a fall collection color, so it is no longer in stock, unfortunately. It's such a good color. So the next whip I talked about last time was the Painting Bricks Shawl by Stephen West. I have not made any progress on that shawl at all. My, I love, I love that pattern and I love working on it. It's so great. But my issue is that I'm too lazy to wind yarn. So I have a bunch of minis that I just need to cake up and I haven't done it. And that's why I haven't worked on it. So pure laziness at this point. And then I showed you all my, I showed you all my teddy bear and the pattern is called Knit a Teddy. Um, since the last time I saw you all, I finished the body. So it looks like a little potato, <laughs> which I think is like super cute. Um, I did stuff it already and now I just need to work on the head and the two arms and two legs. My niece is actually coming. I don't know if I said this in the last podcast, but my niece is actually coming sooner than it's expected. She was supposed to be born in March, but now she's being born or she's going to be born on the 24th of February, which is really exciting. My birthday is the 20th, so we're going to be two little twins. Actually, my other sister, her birthday is on the 23rd. So, um, yeah, we're all just like little twins. So now I will talk about my two new cast-ons. My first cast-on that I want to talk about is the Kodak Cowl by Emily. Again, uh, this pattern is on Ravelry. This right here is the cowl. So this is my first attempt at uh, brioche. I've never done brioche before, so that's really exciting. And that's the only reason why I casted it on is because I wanted that challenge of doing a new thing. So the two colors that I'm using is Mesa Skeins. Uh, the first colorway, which is the... Um, like the pinkish one that's in there is called Kiss and Tell. So this is from her Valentine's Day collection, I believe from last year. And then the purple is Purple Dragon Martini in her Full House Lace base, which is 74% baby Surrey alpaca, 26% silk. It comes with 280. 20, I'm sorry, 328 yards, 50 grams. So I've never used baby alpaca and silk and it is so nice. I understand why it's like luxury, <laughs> but yeah, I really, I really, really like this pattern, especially if you are learning because the person who created the pattern has a video tutorial as well. So I love that to be able to follow both. I personally like to follow, um, like actual patterns, but of course when you're stuck and you don't know how to do something, it's nice to have the option of watching the video as well. So I a hundred percent recommend this pattern. Um, and obviously I a thousand percent recommend Mesa Skeins. Definitely check her out. She is amazing. So we'll move on to my next pattern that I have been like pretty much actively working on within the past couple of days. Like I said, I don't have a lot of time to knit right now, but when I do knit, I'm picking this up. Um, I actually casted this on when we were away and then I had to restart. So I restarted last night and I've been working on it a little bit here and there today. And this is the Heart Sweater by Marita C. So... Here's the pattern. This is okay. So <laughs> I decided not to frog this. I decided to just start the new one first. 
Um, but this is the heart sweater. So there's a bunch of hearts on it. Um, the yarn that I am using is Three Sisters Fiber. Um, and this is in there. So the, the, this purplish, it's reading blue, but it is more purple in person, but this is on their essential DK. It's a hundred grams, 225 meters or 246 yards, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. And it is a, obviously hand dyed yarn. Um, and then the hearts here, the white hearts is, um, Diablo yarn from Hobie and this is 40% acrylic, 30% mohair, and 30% polyamide and this is in the color 01 which is just like white and it has 246 yards or 25 grams. So I'm holding this double this is what I originally had, and then I um, decided to frog it. The reasons why I decided to frog it was I tried it on as it is, and it does fit, but it's going to fit tight. And I'm not one that likes really tight clothing, so I said, you know what? I'm frogging it before I get too far in, and then I really, I will really regret it. Um... So I will frog this eventually and use the yarn in my project. I just, at the time, wanted to see what the bigger size would look like. Um, when it comes down to the pattern, I'm not a big fan of the pattern. I hate to say that because I hate to, like, talk down on a pattern because I know somebody spent a lot of time working on the pattern itself. But I think that the pattern is... I don't want to say poorly written, but it's definitely not, it's definitely not, um, hmm. So I personally have only ever used patterns that kind of tell me exactly what to do. Uh, for instance, like when I'm doing, doing a raglan, it'll tell me exactly what raglan increase to do. This pattern doesn't. It just kind of tells you like to do increases. So I... I personally don't like that. I need to know like exactly what to do or I just like can't compute for some reason. So it's definitely like a me problem. It's not, I'm not going to put blame on the pattern, but if you are somebody who's a beginner, it's hard to follow. Um, so pretty much what I'm doing is I'm trying to use their measurements, but I'm also taking it from like another raglan sweater that I have made before and I'm just kind of using both patterns to try to figure out how to do things. So um, that's kind of interesting. So anyways, uh, another issue that my, my issue, another thing is that I believe this uh, pattern calls for worsted. I am knitting it in a DK. So I did, um, I did go up a size on the needles and I I did go up a size, like, I did go up a size, but then I realized that that size was too small, so I needed to size up again. So I am knitting the size large, 42-inch bust. I mean, the pattern itself is is really beautiful. Um, just not a, not a big fan of the way that it's written. So this is what I have right now. Um, I just did the collar, and I'm starting to do the increases um, I put my stitch markers on. I don't really think you could see that, but I have my stitch markers going. It's all, it's all good. It's all fun. So yeah, I don't really do acquisitions anymore on my podcasts only because I tend to record those videos like separately. Um, with that being said, I do want to show you an acquisition. So being that we went away, I wanted to go to the yarn store and if you don't know, I am doing a like stash down this year. I'm going to try to not buy any yarn. I haven't been very successful. <laughs> I have to record a video to tell you all my numbers and I will do that soon. Um, like how much yarn I used for January and if I brought in any more yarn. Um, but that'll be like in a different video. 
but I did want to show you all I got this little bag so this bag is from Coco Knits and being that my boyfriend and I went away we stopped at a yarn store um, I had full intentions of not buying any yarn except for more of this like white mohair if I found it um, but they didn't have any white mohair at all so I <laughs> bought myself a little bag I love this bag it's it's really cute it has so many pockets and it's like a it's like a like a canvas kind of bag uh the and then like the inside too it has a bunch of po like pockets I can't really show you because I have my project in here but it's really it's nice it's a it's a nice bag downside is it is freaking expensive I <laughs> I'm so happy that I like the minute I got in the car I pulled the bag out to look at it because when we got into the car and I pulled the bag out it didn't have any straps so I was like that's weird like why doesn't it have straps it's supposed to be like a like it's supposed to have straps you know the 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 one in the store had straps so I was like oh that's weird so then I go and I look at the back of the box and it had said that the straps were additional I mean I don't know why why would you do that like why why do that why wouldn't you just put them all like together you know, charge whatever price it is, including the straps. Because, like, who's just going to buy this to not have the straps on it? It doesn't really, doesn't make any sense. And at that point, like, I already bought the bag. So now I had to go back in and buy the straps. So all in all, this like, came out to, like, $50. Which, you know, is kind of a lot. <laughs> I think the straps itself were, like, 26 bucks. I mean, I, my boyfriend was like, just return it. But... At that point, I, re I was already in love with it, so, and I didn't buy any yarn, so then that gave me more, you know, <laughs> more power to, to spend money on a bag. <laughs> I don't know. Not, not very smart of me, but yeah. At least now that bag is gonna remind me of our little getaway, so. I did also buy this right here. And this is a little, um, a little wooden, like, keychain, and it tells you the German short rows. I really need this because anytime I have to do sh German short rows, I have to look up a video, and it really slows me down, and I hate that. So this actually tells you exactly how to do German, German short rows, which is fantastic. Um, I have one similar, similar to this that is for Make One Left, Make One Right. And I personally love it. I use it all the time. So I knew that with this little German short row thing, I was definitely going to be using it. I'd get my use out of it. And then I also got myself one of these row counters. Ooh, why is it not focusing? Hello, focus. There we go. It is a little row counter and it's got a little sheep on the end, which I love. I love sheep. Yeah, so our next segment would be UFOs or unfinished objects. I don't have any that I've taken out lately, so we'll skip that. And then I did my little life update at the beginning. But that's enough rambling. I think that this video is long enough. I hope that you all enjoyed episode 12, and I will see you all later. Bye!